Welcome back everybody, I'm Marcio, you're watching The Urban Man. Today's review, not review, uh, more of like a learning session for those of you that are getting started into wet shaving. Uh, today's is going to be about how to lather up using a puck, a, a bar of soap, a puck of soap. So here I've got a big, a big puck and then in here my sample which I've been using, my little uh, sample pack and this is the same stuff, both sandal wood. So uh, it's actually easier to lather up with this guy but uh, for the purpose I'm going to be using this and uh, I've got here in my bowl, let's put that one side, I had my brush so I'm not going to be using the custard today, the custard is in its place in its holder I'm going to be using my synthetic brush uh, a lot of the guys I've gotten a lot of guys to start getting into wet shaving and a lot of them have this exact um, this exact brush uh, mine is synthetic I know some of them have gotten ball ball will be even easier to lather up than the synthetic uh, so let's go ahead so I've, it's been soaking in here so what I'm gonna do is empty out my bowl here and then give that a shake I'm gonna grab my puck stick my puck in there and start mixing away so once you've taken your brush out you're just gonna give it one small flick and then put your puck inside with your puck inside the bowl you're gonna start swirling this thing around okay gonna get a nice leather there going with my other custard galaxy it would uh, even whip up much easier and what you want to do is just press on the sides here every once in a while and then carry on flipping around why it's easier to lather up with a bigger puck is the smaller puck tends to sit and rotate inside the bowl whereas your bigger puck usually sits in place so it's much easier to sit and whip around than this and then once again keep on pressing on the sides here and that's it, it's starting to form up nicely and just keep doing that every now and again then what you can do is after a while if you want you can remove the puck or you can leave it in complete your shave and once you're cleaning out your stuff you can remove the puck uh, whatever's easier for you guys uh, whatever you find convenient just keep brushing that to the side and if you want, if it's building too much around the rim of your bowl, then just push it, once you've wiped it on the sides, just push it down and then keep going at it. So uh, I don't have a time, I should have, actually I wanted to time myself. Talking about time, I've got the G-Shock on the wrist, the GW5000. You'll see this on my wrist most of the times. It's just uh, such a fantastic piece. It's all you really need for like an everyday uh, watch. Um, if you don't want if you're not dressing fancy obviously of course if you're a suit and tie person that you have to wear a suit and tie then yeah maybe might not be the perfect everyday watch for you all right so i've been whipping now around for i would say it's maybe been what roughly two minutes three minutes max i don't even think three minutes but uh let's show you what's forming inside there got a nice really nice leather look at that when i push to the sides how it's forming there nice and then you're just gonna like I say push it inside and keep on whipping it around as so you can see that lather forming up and there's my puck over there and uh, if it were me if I were gonna be doing about a two or three pass uh, honestly the amount of leather that's in here would suffice for me if you want more leather you can keep on whipping it up but like I said yeah once once you're done if you want to what I usually do is I just uh, while I'm busy I remove the pack and then I just usually just give it a rinse under water the pack there we go stick it back in the container and it's done just rinse my hands here quickly let's keep going with this leather let's keep going with this leather as I said, just keep, this bowl is, is really, really deep. So that's why I said uh, the amount of leather that's 
in here would actually probably suffice for a two, uh, three pass even. Look at those nice peaks starting to form over there. So every time you're just pushing it to the side there of your bowl and then pull it along all the sides around and such. Whip it around some more. It usually takes me about a minute or two to get my leather perfect the way I want it. I'm gonna stop there. Um, I'm happy with the way that I'm with, like I said, this is a deep bowl. The leather is uh, roughly about up to there. Roughly about up to there. But you can see the nice peaks there forming. For me, that would be enough for a three pass shave. If you really lather up a lot, maybe a two pass shave, but uh, uh, honestly, a three pass shave. All right, guys, so that's it. That's, that's all this video was for. It's just to show you guys, because there was a couple of guys asking me that they were battling um, lathering, creating some lather using up the pucks. Um, they weren't sure how do you uh, actually go about you go on the soap and then take it to the bowl or how do you go about actually doing it. Uh, so that's it. That's how you get your that's how you get your leather using a puck. All right, guys, I'm going to end that video here. Let me wash up my hands. I'm not going to do the shave. I'm going to do a shave a little bit later on. But uh, let me just rinse my hands here. I'm going to be doing the shave a little bit later on. Not right now. Uh, if this was informative, if it helped you, please yeah, hit that like button. Uh, leave comments down below if uh, you guys form your foam. Uh, your foam. Foam. <laughs> your lather. If you form your lather using a puck a different way, maybe drop that down in the comments below. You can always learn something new. doesn't hurt. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and if you want to keep on seeing more of my videos in the future. I really appreciate all the subscription and it does help and motivate me to keep on pushing out great content for you guys. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.